Hi guys, so today I'm really excited um, because I'm actually going to be doing an update of my Red Velvet photo card collection. Um, I was going to wait until next year to kind of do an update, but because everything that I was waiting for in the mail arrived, I thought it would be a good time to do it now because I've had a few people ask um, about this as well, so I thought I would just go ahead and get it over with. And then I'll just do an update, you know, sometime next year after a few comebacks happen or so, so... Yes, um, so here's the front cover of my binder. If you remember from the first time I showed my photo card collection, the binder was red, but that one quickly um, got pretty full. And this one actually, unfortunately, is already full as well. So probably gonna have to get another binder. The thing I don't know is if I want to um, separate my cards or have like this binder just stay like this and then, you know, start a new one, but I'm not sure, we'll see. And then this is the surround view um, little flyer I still have there. And so here's the front. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty full and like all these pages. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then here's that photo, the other one I have here as well. So starting off, I have Ice Cream Cake. Obviously the first um, card set that they released. And I actually want to show both sides, so... Okay. Um, the red. The velvet. Russian roulette. I love this card set. This is one of my favorites. Um, I think because of, like, all their different color hairs and stuff. They all look really nice. Um, and then Rookie. So this is when they started doing the two photo card sets. Um, so, yeah. I separate mine how I kind of see fit and stuff. So, like, this set I just think works better together. And then this one kind of works better for me as well. But um, I think the important thing is that I have all 10, so it doesn't really matter. And then the Red Summer. The Perfect Velvet. I love these bags. I just, you know, they're really unique and I love, and I love how, like, um, different all of them are. So it really, like, goes with the um, specific era and stuff. And then these are the Perfect Red Velvet. And then the Kino cards for the Perfect Red Velvet. I love this card set as well. Especially these two cards. And then Hashtag Cookie Jars. So I was going to separate the Japanese um, cards, but then I thought there was really no point in doing that. So I just kept it in the order of the time they released the music so yeah so this was the next time they released music was for hashtag cookie jar so this is this um set and i actually really like the set a lot i didn't think i would because of the you know two different concepts but i think it works really well and then i put this card here this is like that sticker card but it goes well <laughs> with the set and then we have summer magic these are the limited cards uh the clear cards and the normal cards and then that's all for album you know cards and then we get to like more of these special or different types of cards so i have all four of the uh, fortune cookie card set this was released back in 2014 when there was only four members and then these were the coex cards that were released when sm opened that new store um, well it's not new anymore but you know so i kept them like this just because i think i like this better than having it like that um, and so that would mean that that would go like that, which is fine, even though it looks kind of weird having, like, the two Irene's right there, but it's good. And then, um, I didn't actually have these in my binder in my first update, and these are the calendar cards, so I actually kept them in, like, the little box, um, that they came in, and then actually kept them in the calendar, but I thought I actually wanted to see them once in a while, so I thought I would add them to my collection instead of just keeping them in storage so yeah these were the 2016 calendar and I don't have papers for these because I don't know what to put in here and then I actually covered the backs as well because they have a calendar on the back and I wanted to keep them in age order so yeah I just thought I would just cover it um just to make it look I guess a bit better um and so yeah those were the black and white ones and then these are the 2017 calendar um yeah, again, same thing, cover the backs. And then the 2018 calendar. So this is not my set, actually. 
um, from my calendar that I bought. Um, those are still intact, you know, without them being punched out. But I actually found these on eBay over the summer for a pretty good price. And so I thought I would go ahead and buy them because I had the other two already here. So I thought I would um, buy these just keep the consistency and stuff. So, yeah. But that set and then this set. And then uh, we get the Red Room little photo card binder um book cards so yeah this is the set i love these cards as well and i love the bags this is probably my favorite um, back of a card for red velvet so i love this a lot and then we get the perfect velvet um little binder photo card books as well this is one of the first merch that was released for that era and then the perfect velvet uh, paper folder cards love that irene card a lot and then the first set of Cashby cards. So this is um, around the time SM announced the collaboration. So there is that. And then we have the Kino um, photo cards that came in the Kino album. And then the Hollow cards. Um, these were released for the perfect red velvet. Yeah. Um, so this is that set and then we get to the red mare um merch cards so um i actually kept them in the price order so most expensive to least expensive so these are the ticket holders i think that way it'll help me kind of um make sure i have the right set so yeah and keep them in some sort of order so this is the ticket holders and then came the voice curing cards and then these are the little hollow wallet um, cards. And then the um, light stick deco sticker cards. These are hollow as well. And then we get to the SM Town and Osaka um, Superstar SM Town cards. So these were given out uh, one card per person out of every SM artist. So you literally could get one of the you know many SM artists that there are. So yeah, I got a full set of these. And then I have the Summer Magic merch. So these are the hollow um, cards. These were released um, not too long ago. And then the Cashby cards for Summer Magic, which were released again not too long ago. And then I have more miscellaneous cards. So these are actually fan-made cards, but I like them a lot. So I kept them like this um, and here. And then I have the two School Oz cards for Sulgi, and then the two Irene birthday party cards. Then um, on top I have the three SM Town bookmarks. The other two members were never released, so I'm not sure if we'll get those eventually, but for now I keep those there. And then these are the Sheila um, little gift cards. So again, only two members were released for these. And then this is the Etude House little freebie you got in Japan. And then this is a Red Velvet um, card that was given out at their concert, Red Mare. Um, it's like a little advertisement on the back that says um, when the like they were going to show the concert on online, I think. And then the anniversary, fourth anniversary um, little card that was given out at the SM Town um, Museum the day of their anniversary. And then the first of the three new Etude House cards that were released over the summer. This one has these two members. And then I have the full set of the first series of the Etude House um, cards. So these came um, these came with the lip kit and then these were released as, as um, gift cards. And then up here I have the two other Etude House cards that were released over the summer that go with the other card. Um, so yeah. And then these are just fan-made cards, we'll accept that one. And then I have my three Sulgi School Oz postcards. So that's everything. And I managed to do it under 10 minutes. So yes, um, that's my Red Velvet collection as of October 2018. And yeah, if you have any questions, definitely let me know and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, some cards are not available anymore, so yeah um but again if you have questions just let me know and i guess i'll let you know in case you're wondering so yeah um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye